Hi, this is Jade with Transcoding, and this is the first in a series, the Web Development Tutorial. You might be asking yourself, why this channel and why this need? Well, I'm a software developer. I started off at Sacramento State. I learned C, C++, Java, but I never really learned as a programmer what a customer needs. I never learned how to get a product into a customer's hands. And I never learned how to build a website. The reason I live, never learned how to build a website is because you simply don't need it for school. But you need it as soon as you hit the real world. You need to be able to present yourself, to sell yourself, and unless you pay someone, no one's going to do it for you. So, what we're going to go through with this site is, initially, we're going to go over the hardware. What hardware do you need? We're going to go over the software. And... For the software, we're going to make sure that it's going to work for you, whether you're in a Windows, a Mac, or a Linux environment. Because I want it to work for all of those. We're also going to look at the cost. I want this to be as cheap as possible, and I'm sure you do too. So, once we have those down, we need to figure out where we're going to set this website up at. And that's going to involve the server. And we'll have a few options with that that we can go over. And you're also going to need to figure out what you want to put on the website. So that's going to be the software that you code. And this might be software that you made from school projects. If you don't have a school project, that's fine too. We will be able to build those up from this site. You can take your own algorithms and we'll get you to object-oriented programming ASAP. Additionally, we'd like to look at outside APIs maybe. Those are going to be things like Google Maps. If we look at another website here, we can see that they've got a series of calculators. This table here is done with Google's API. That's their chart API. We'll build that into a website as well. On this secondary calculator, you can see that there's another chart here. This chart is also built with the Google Charts API, and we'll learn how to code and connect that as well. So this will allow you not only to build your own website, but it'll allow you to build a website that connects to other websites. Along with that, we discussed that you'll want to build a resume, and so that'll be part of your own website. So, we will incorporate what you need to build a website and develop it for yourself, the cost, the server that you want to host it on, the software that you're going to code, and eventually your own resume to put on it. Last, we're going to look at the stack. Of course, you want to know what we're going to be coding on. And the stack, in terms of most web development, is going to be what is generally referred to as the MAP stack. MAP stands for Mac. Apache, MySQL, and PHP. In general terms, these are going to be the operating system, the server, the database, and the programming language for delivery. So in general, this is the same stack we're going to use. Again, we're going to make sure that this works on all operating systems. So we want to make sure that this works for Mac, Windows, and Linux. Which means that you'll learn not just the MAMP stack, you'll also learn the LAMP stack and the WAMP stack. Aside from that, you'll need to know what you're going to actually be programming on. I personally prefer Sublime Text, but you'll be able to use any software or any editor of choice. That could be Visual Studio with Windows, Xcode on your Mac, and there are several others as well. For storing code, you're going to need Git, and we'll go over that shortly, but that's going to be for versioning control. But initially, you're going to want to create a GitHub account for storing your software, and that's also going to be how you retrieve software if you're going to use it from someone else. For instance, if you wanted to use transcoding software, then you would simply use our site. So here I'm setting it up. I will save the links 
and post them in the YouTube channel and you'll have access to any code and any notes that we do along the way. That covers the goals of this tutorial. What we'll be going over as the episodes progress and we will get into the software that you'll need to get started in the next episode. Remember to like, subscribe, and share if you like. I'm Jade, and this has been Transcoding.